Hey guys, my name is Charlotte May and welcome to my kitchen. So recently, Ayn Rand reached out to me to see if I was up for a challenge. Well, you can imagine what I said to that. Kung Fung Ken La. So over the next few episodes, they will be sending me a bunch of challenges to test my skills in the kitchen and see what I can whip up with their canned products. Now, I have no idea what I'll be cooking, but I'll be sure to share the recipes with you guys at the end of the episode so you can try it out at home. Okay, so here's my first challenge. So excited. Challenge one, race to the table. Let's start the series off with something fun. There are two parts to this challenge. Step one, get on a food delivery app and make an order for a dish of your choice that contains tuna. Okay, looks like I need my phone for this. Something that contains tuna. I guess I'll just search tuna. Okay, let's do this. Sushi, not really. Tuna bubble tea? Maybe not. Pizza. Tuna pizza. Let's go with that. It has tomato sauce, tuna, cherry tomatoes, capers, onions, shiitake mushrooms, and mozzarella. Simple enough. Let me place an order. Okay, great. Your order has been received. Step two. Now make the same dish with I am brand canned tuna. Can Charlotte May beat a delivery order in a race to the table? Okay, so it looks like I need to make the pizza right now. I think I should have most of these ingredients in my fridge. I'm not gonna make pizza dough. I've not got time for that, but I've got a magic trick. I always have puff pastry in my fridge. So that's gonna be what I'll use for the base. Oh, okay, what else is there? Cherry tomatoes, I've got that here. Mushrooms. Okay, I always like adding greens to my pizza too, so I'll have some rocket leaves there. Ah, what else? Okay, tomato sauce. And they've got capers. Okay, I've not got capers, but I've got olives. That should do the trick. And cheese. I love good cheesy pizza. Okay, let's go make this pizza. Just got a notification saying that the restaurant is preparing your food, so let's preheat my oven. Now, puff pastry. I love puff pastry because you can literally make magic with it. It gives you these soft, buttery, delicate layers and it's much better than just eating bready pizza in my opinion. So it's frozen and it will tell you to defrost it for about 15 minutes, but honestly, Singapore is warm enough, so you just need four minutes for that. And I'm going to put my puff pastry sheet on there, about four to five minutes. In the meantime, toppings. I'm going to, whew, see I have no idea what to do right now. Okay, cherry tomatoes, my olives. Let's just prepare that first. Okay, so the thing about puff pastry is, it's really, really delicate. So you can't dump a lot of ingredients in there because then it'll get really mushy and it won't bake properly. And the key to pizza is color. So we wanna add lots of color in it. Okay, I've got some olives. So we want to defrost it till the puff pastry is pliable to the touch. So not too soft, if not, it won't bake nicely. Now I want to just roll in about half an inch, so I create a crust. And honestly, puff pastry crusts are the best. Okay, all the sides are folded in. I'm just gonna decorate it because I know I have time to. Just gonna score it slightly. And I'm gonna prick the middle as well. So. Okay, done. So into the oven for about eight minutes. Okay, so I'll let that blind bake and I'll prepare the rest of my ingredients right now. I've got the mushrooms. I'm gonna slice it up thinly. Okay, mushrooms are done. And for the most important ingredient, because you can't have a tuna pizza without tuna, the all important ingredient, I am brand tuna, flakes in water. Now I'm gonna drain the water out because you don't want a soggy pizza. Let's drain it out here. I have a bin, don't worry. I'm not just pouring it onto the floor. That is it. All I have to do is wait for this to blind bake. I've got 48 more seconds. Let's check on the delivery. Okay, the restaurant is still preparing your food. And the rider is Tan. Looking forward to you, Tan. Okay, oh, so beautiful. Okay, so first things first, tomato sauce as my base. Smear it all around. 
Now I'm already using tomato sauce, the tuna flakes has salt in it, and I'm using all this at the same time, so I'm not adding any salt into this recipe. Now I'm gonna top that up with rocket leaves. Like the Italian flag. And then I will put over some mushrooms. Scatter that around. And then the star of the recipe, I'm gonna add in the tuna flakes. Just gonna flake it all about. Okay. All right, a copious amount of tuna there. And then I'm gonna top it off with the olives. And then for some red, we've got cherry tomatoes, which I've quartered. Now you wanna face them upwards so that the juice doesn't seep into the pastry. Look how beautiful and colorful that looks. So back into the oven. 10 minutes. And wow, I spent $20.79 on that pizza delivery, but I'm sure that I spent much less than the one I'm making at home right now. And also, I kind of like how the challenge got me to use all my pantry staples like tuna, that rainy weather puff pastry that I have in my freezer, my tomato sauce. Super easy to make. Okay, it's done. Let's get it out of the oven. Ooh, it's looking so good. The crust has beautiful color right there. It's time to sprinkle on the cheese. All right, there you go. Pop into the oven for another four to five minutes and it's good to eat. I think I can actually start clearing up now because I'm done with this pizza. Super easy. It's done! Okay, let's remove it. Glorious, glorious, glorious tuna pizza. Rustic as it is. And because I had so much waiting time, I cut up some basil to sprinkle over for some color. And there you go. Let's check the app. They're still not here yet. So yes, there you go. Puff pastry tuna pizza. May the food be with you. And I am Brand. Can Charlotte beat a food delivery app to the table? Yes, confirm Kenla. Try this recipe at home and leave a comment down below to let I am Brand know what you would like to see in my next challenge. Whatever it is, Confirm can la. Mmm. Mmm. Now they're here.